What is zero divided by zero? It seems easy enough to answer at first because any number times zero equals zero, right? But at the same time, any positive number divided by zero goes to infinity, while if you have a negative number and divide by zero, it goes to negative infinity. So what gives? Is the answer zero, infinity, negative infinity, somewhere in between, or something else entirely? Okay, well, let's figure it out. Howdy everyone, I'm Biscuit, and today we're going to answer what is zero divided by zero. And to do that, we first need to understand what a limit is. Mathematical limits can be incredibly useful. They're used in calculus to help define derivatives and integrals, but it turns out they're a remarkably simple concept in and of themselves. The central idea of a limit is this question. What happens if you get really, really close to a certain value? You, know, you don't actually care what the value is there, you just want to get really, really close enough and say what the value you're approaching is. This means if a function doesn't have a value defined at a point, it may still have a limit there. Here we're not really allowed to divide by zero, but that doesn't mean a limit doesn't exist. Another thing to note is that the direction you approach matters. So we can make a distinction between positively and negatively approaching limits, because these sometimes aren't the same. It's like my calculus teacher taught me. Limits are like girlfriends. If you have two limits at the same place at the same time, then you have zero limits. So let's look at a few functions and their limits when they should equal zero over zero to help illuminate what the answer should be. Plan is to look at a few functions that are gonna equal zero divided by zero at some point. Um, we'll take a limit when that happens. Hopefully that will tell us what the answer should be. So I have a Python notebook here, import some packages. And then we'll just define an input array, that being x. So we'll go from values of negative 10 to positive 10. We look at that, we output it, we see that we get a value of 0. So when we have x is below, there will be at least one value of 0 in there. So we will get our 0 divided by 0 value. And then for the first function, let's look at y equals 0 over x. So we agree when x equals 0, we will get that 0 over 0. And we also should know what answer we expect to see. So we multiply, you know, usually when you multiply a number by 0, we should get 0. When you divide by 0, maybe something weird happens. But we expect this entire graph to look like 0 for the most part. So if we do that, we output it. We see that we do get zero everywhere except for that zero over zero point. It's a little funny. We're not really allowed to divide by zero. The computer agrees with that. It says invalid value encountered in true divide, saying I don't want to divide by zero. I'm not allowed to do that. It's not defined. Sure. So we look at the limit. We approach from the left. If we approach from the right. We see that it should be zero everywhere. So that's telling it's the limit zero over zero for this function is just zero. So we can look at the output array, that being y here. Maybe that'll tell us the value. Okay. Well, we get zero everywhere except for that one point. We get something called NAN. So a NAN just stands for not any number. This is when you ask the computer to do something it's not allowed to do or doesn't want to do for some reason. Uh, really common in computer science. You just get some invalid value. And it spits out a NAN. Okay, the computer doesn't want to calculate the zero over zero. It refuses to. Sure. Okay, move on. So maybe we don't know the answer explicitly, but we look at the limits. And we can see that 0 over 0 for this function should equal 0. Okay, so is the problem solved? Okay, well, let's look at a few more to make sure that works. So another one we could do is x divided by x. So if you divide something by the same thing, it normally should just always equal 1, right? But, you know, we're going to get some funny things with the 0 over 0, but we agreed that when x equals 0, we will get that value. Input that, what do we get? Okay, we do get values of 1 everywhere. And then again, we have this undefined point, this open circle. Open circle just means that at that one point, it's not really defined, but sure. Okay, we look at the limits approaching from the left, approaching from the right. We see that we it should be one everywhere. And in fact, it really is one everywhere, except that one value, the limit there should just equal one. Okay, so here's a weird thing. We used zero over x, we got the limit equals zero. We used x over x, we got the limit equals one. So what's going on? Those are two different answers. In fact, we could keep going. Let's do two times x over x. So two times zero would equal zero. So this top one x equals zero would equal zero. And if we do this, 
we find the limit there would be equal to 2. So now we have three different answers. What is going on? So we're finding we're getting many different answers to the question of 0 divided by 0. In fact, we could keep writing down more and more functions and get that the limit of 0 divided by 0 could be any number. So basically what I'm trying to say is no girlfriends. This is a classic indeterminate answer of mathematics since we cannot determine any particular answer since there are an infinite number of answers. This is why we usually don't define anything when we divide by zero because weird stuff happens. Another way to see that any number is the answer to zero divided by zero is by moving one of those zeros to the other side of the equation. So now we have zero times x equals zero. We know that any number x solves this equation since any number times zero must be zero. So we put this in Wolfram Alpha, put this in, what do we get? So we just get it's a true statement because any number x will solve this equation. This is actually a fundamental axiom of integers. Okay, that's all the time I have. I have to go back to beating Reggie in Mario Tennis on the Nintendo Virtual Boy. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Okay, thanks, bye. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser.